Hey guys, you're probably wondering what the heck is going on right now. Um, we're going to our airsoft field, but we're not playing today. Today, uh, myself and a bunch of members from the club that I'm in, Trainwreck, we are actually uh, improving our home field. We're doing some landscaping work today and we've kind of got the, the green light to do a bunch of build projects at the field. So we're really, really excited. Uh, today is basically day one. Um, I've foregone being able to play today in the nice sunny weather, um, but I'm going to show you guys what we're up to. Um, it's mostly just trimming bush, um, ripping out roots from the ground, a lot, mostly just getting rid of thorn bushes right now, but there is a lot of other things we need to do, and it's going to be a long day, but I think it's going to be very interesting. And I just can't wait. I can't wait to get there. So we're grabbing pizza because we're kind of late and I had some stuff to do this morning. So, you know, the guys are already working away and they're, they're, they're just probably out there sweating. They're hungry. So I'm going to bring some pizza. Yeah. See you guys when I get there. I made Sasha go get the pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. 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 I don't want to share pizza. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just want to eat it. You can't eat two full pizzas. Let's just eat the pizza and then like, <laughs> and, then, and then just not show up. Just not show oh up. Oh my God. <laughs> God, they'd hate us so much. Okay, so some of you that go to this field, that go to Panther, you recognize where we are, right? This is the helicopter. Um, this is not a tour video, obviously, but you know, we're just kind of... Like a little toy. All right, come on. <laughs> I have a hoe and I have a rake. So, my left arm's kind of like a little angry with me right now. all your money on rakes and hoes. <laughs> hey, fellas! We got hey, pizza! pizza. Hey, pizza. Right you guys aren't done yet? What is this? <laughs> this is the build zone. Really, really, really big, guys. This is about 80 feet by 60 feet. Um, and it is just absolutely insane. Big project, right? There's still a lot of bush we got to get rid of, and we got to get rid of all the roots that are underneath right otherwise it's going to grow back so yeah they've done a really good job and i'm kind of glad that they're not done because i really want to help i'm not allowed to use the heavy equipment Are you working hard? Yeah, I am. Yeah? Wow. Yeah, you're gonna be done in no time. I'm making 
Yeah. You're 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 uh you're a rakist. That's what you are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay guys, so it has been how long has it been? Two and a half hours? Three hours? Two and a half hours. I don't know when we got here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it has been I don't know how long. Probably two and a half hours. Um these other the other guys here they, they did quite a bit, right? Um we have been mostly just raking the cut bush out of the way into piles and we are disposing of it and as you can see there's still lots to do but this is kind of try and imagine this bush right that's still uncut here imagine that it's just kind of all the way down there right all the way to the trees so um it's a lot it's a lot and we've we've done a lot and once this place is completely flattened um, the fun the fun part will begin but uh, yeah I think it's gonna be a long day probably I mean for us at least it's like noon until 7 o'clock at night if we're lucky so at least until the Sun is completely gone and there's no more daylight or whatever so um, yeah so can't see our way home. yeah wish us luck guys we're just gonna keep going and uh, I mean if it weren't for the help of everyone else right we would be way far behind <laughs> so I'm really happy that we're all kind of pitching and, and doing our part um, okay I'll see you guys soon one hour later we're down a bush cutter so I I sourced one <laughs> <laughs> this is actually my first time using a bush cutter so let's see if I I don't hurt myself <laughs> what do you think? Am I gonna is something bad gonna happen? <laughs> it's not gonna have shins by the end of this. <laughs> it's okay guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna be thoroughly trained on this before I use it. We got a guy up there that knows what he's doing. So as I said earlier, we kind of showed up a little late today. So uh, we've lost some lost some bodies. They're they're tired and they're they're going home. But uh, I think I've got another two hours in me. We'll see. She's very special. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? I kind of want the green one. I want the green one. Fuck. Actually, wait, I'll have the red one. Yeah, the red one's fruit quench. No, I don't want the red one. I want the green one. Wow. I'm having some of the green one. What flavor is the green one? It's like green apple? Melon pineapple. Melon pineapple. No, I'll have the red one. I thought it was like green apple or something, no. like a like a. There's no green apple Gatorade. I don't why think. is there not a green apple Gatorade? I don't know. Isn't people that people are pussies? Wow, <laughs> that actually kind of rolls off the tongue nicely. Green apple Gatorade, you know? It does. Like, why does it not exist? They it's have a blue. They have a blue raspberry, right? Like everything that's blue is raspberry <laughs> apparently. So why don't they have a green apple Gatorade? Start start a petition. I'm not starting a petition, that's so lame. You're lame. I'm not lame, look at me, I'm like Mr. Handyman. You know, I got my tool. You guys see that? It's my tool. We'll see if it... You're a tool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stick. Yeah. Do you like it? So it's a nice stick you got. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna take that stick home? Yeah. Okay. Do you think it'll fit in the car? Yeah, totally. Okay, guys. Um, we got a lot done today. I think there were. What was there seven of us? Eight of us? There were about seven of us, I think. Uh, and we got a lot done. Um, pretty much anywhere where the ground is brown, right? That's where really tall and thick, tangly prickle bush 
was all those thorn bushes that nobody likes to play around so um there's still lots to do uh well there's a little bit more to do i'd say we got a lot done um still got to do that corner over there uh, and then the hill kind of slopes down and that's where we're going to stop we got to do some more in the back corner and then just a little bit here and there and what we're planning on building here is pretty big so yeah and this is just like one project we got a lot planned um, and I'm really excited to be part of that. So yeah, um, this is day one. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. So this video technically is not over, but my day is over. I'm gonna go home, have some steak and just relax. I think it's a, a well-deserved um, time of relaxation for me. How do you transition to tomorrow? How do I do that? Uh, good morning. Um, Day two, let's go. Say hi, Brandon. Ah, well, the pressure's on <laughs> to perform and be different. Right. And unusual. It's just me and Brandon right now. Oh, sorry, hard hat's falling down. Rookie move. All right. Did you guys put this rope on? Yeah, it's to stop the troublemakers from- Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. Brandon has not seen the work we've done, so he's gonna be very happy. What do you think? That's nice, that's a lot of clear. Yeah. A little bit to do. We're hitting this patch today. Yeah. Working on some of this. Yeah. A little bit behind me here. We're gonna get rid of the barbed wire and see what we can do. We're just kind of piling it up uh, in the middle. And burning it there. Yeah, so we'll just kind of deal with it. This guy's been here for at least five years. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's a professional. I know nothing. I'm a Himalayan blackberry expert. There you go. These are Himalayan blackberries? Yeah, yeah these are Himalayan blackberries brought over by European settlers. This ain't no Himalayas. They are an invasive species. This is actually how we get Himalayan salt. Oh, yeah. Grind down the Himalayan blackberry and it uh, creates the salt. Facts, yeah. For Facts. Sure. All right, we're learning things today. It's a Google, Google fact right there. Actually, Facebook. Facebook <laughs> hooks me up with that one. <laughs> Right, so it was kind of like 80% true, and there was like some other... Yeah. 60% of the time, 100% of the time is true. <laughs> Two hours later. Here, I'll just start piling here. Yeah, yeah, just do that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, thanks, guys. All right, guys, change of plans. Uh, it's really windy. <laughs> Trees are actually literally falling right now. Um, we heard one fall, like, down over yonder. So it sounded like literal thunder. Um, oh, this this guy. Yeah, that's right. There's one actually up here that's literally on the verge of falling. I'm gonna zoom in, but uh, it's like right there, and it's literally like not attached to anything. Like it's my, it's gonna fall like literally in a week, for all we know. So it's not good, and that's kind of where we're working. So I'd rather not die. <laughs> so this is what I cut down pretty much right in front of the. Right where the camera's sitting here, and then all this to the left of the tree, all the way over there. That's uh, been freshly cut today. Um, I, you know, I did a decent, decent chunk. I definitely wanted to do more. I wanted to go a little bit further back. Um, we also want to cut this. Uh, we want to, we want to cut this bush down here. Get rid of that barbed wire. Ma? Bottle trick? Oh, I just... <laughs> I thought it would work out, but now it's just hitting me in the nuts every other step. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's really windy. Really windy. So, we're gonna call it like five hours early. So, you know, I did what I had to do. I got, I got some stuff done. We, uh, we actually started uh, flattening the ground here a little bit looking all nice see that that's how it's gonna look when we are completely done and then we're gonna start building so we got a lot to do um, we're hoping maybe one more weekend that'd be nice and yeah so I will see you guys in a minute in a hot minute I will be probably in my car so um, definitely didn't get as much done as I wanted to get done um, but we made good headway like 
no joke guys this is a huge huge spot and um, I'm gonna show you guys actually what we're planning on building at the end of this video which we are approaching um, but it, it's a rough idea a fairly good rough idea of um, what we're planning on putting there all right see you guys all right fellas before I end the video I am gonna show you what we're planning on building here sort of of course, as I've said, things can be subject to change. The size or scale is most likely going to remain the same, but the shape might be altered for the sake of game balance or just because we've come up with something more unique. We'll see. The general idea here is to build a fortress out of both plywood and sandbags. The black lines indicate double wide sandbag walls. These will also have plywood in between secured to the ground. Of course, we're gonna alternate between high cover and low cover. It's really just gonna depend on game balance. I'd also imagine this base is going to be made in modular pieces. That way, if any pieces get damaged, rotted, or just need to be moved, it'll be much, much easier. Red lines indicate entrances, and as you can see, the north and east side are much more heavily defended. To the south is a bit of a hill, so the design in mind here is to have an attacking team approach from the north, giving attackers the option to attack from the north, east, or west if they manage to sneak in through past that little sandbag exterior wall. It's T-shaped, so it's going to offer some opportunities for corner clearing maneuvers. As a result, these walls will also have some plywood in between. Now, if we zoom out here, you can sort of see the playable area or what the property looks like. It's a little tighter on the left side. Now, this is sort of just like the upper left quadrant of the entire field that is Panther. Right? This, this is actually just a, just a piece of the entire airsoft field, but obviously this is where we're building and this is where you would expect the, the gameplay to happen when it comes to playing on this side of the river. The Summer Home Bridge is just referring to a bridge that connects both sides of the property. On the other side is a two-story cabin you guys are probably familiar with especially if you play here. Of course, it's no doubt that attackers are probably also going to need some cover of their own to make things interesting. And obviously, we'll hit that as we get further along. This fortress, FOB, base, whatever we end up calling it, is going to have some impressive milsim potential, as well as just provide some much needed flavor to this side of the property. As I said earlier, Panther Airsoft is like massive. It is a huge, huge property. I think I mentioned a long time ago in another video, this is like Canada's second largest outdoor field for airsoft. So there's a lot we can do here. At the end of the day, we're really, really excited to finish this project. If you play at Panther, I hope the day comes soon where you too can enjoy the final build. Either way, I cannot wait to show you guys some sweet gameplay here. All right, that's all I've got so far. I am curious to know what you guys think about this project, especially if you play at Panther. So please let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'm out guys. See you next time.